Dexterous manipulation of objects is robotics 21st century primary goal to meet the demands of Industry 4.0 and the advancement of cutting-edge prostheses and the chopping of vegetables. To leverage on the immense progress in machine learning, we can encapsulate models of uncertainty to enable robust manipulation of daily objects. Although robots considerably exceed humans' precision and computational speed, they are far from matching our capacity to adapt swiftly to unexpected changes. The Skill Acquisition in Humans and Robots project, SAR, is an ERC research funded by the European Commission. It designs new control methods enabling robots to react to disturbances and replan safe paths within milliseconds. One of the important developments of SAR is dynamical system-based control. A dynamical system is a map of how the robot should move in space. Robots are programmed to follow the lines of this map. Dynamical systems can also be easily modulated to avoid obstacles that appear in the environment. This makes obstacle avoidance straightforward in 2 or 3D space. Usually, controlling a robot is done by giving commands consisting of positions for each of its joints. The ensemble of these commands is called the joint space. As an example, the joint space of a simple robot arm with two joints can be shown as a 2D map with the value of two joints as axes. The joint space is non-Euclidean, meaning it wraps around in peculiar ways and obstacles that appear simple in our normal space might take a weird shape in the joint space. Avoiding obstacles becomes harder with a humanoid arm counting seven joints, as it must now avoid obstacles in seven dimensions. It is even more complex when the object to avoid is not just a circle. However, objects in space can be constructed as a collection of spheres to form a continuous non-linear boundary in the high-dimensional joint space of the robot. As a rule of thumb, the more joints, the more complex the joint space, and the harder it is to avoid obstacles. The same approach can be used to, for example, ensure that the fingers of a robotic hand avoid obstacles in real time. Avoiding obstacles is necessary for dexterous manipulation, such as when repositioning the grasp on a pen without fingers knocking into the pen or themselves. It becomes even harder with a humanoid robot counting over 30 actuators. While performing tasks, self-collision risk increases. For example, when bending down, as the elbow is often at risk of hitting the knee. Now we understand how difficult the problem is. SAR developed an approach using Neural Network, an AI-based method to estimate the free space in high-dimensional joint space in real time. This network learns the free space from seeing a very high number of robot poses and the free space associated to it, and is later capable of very efficiently computing the free space for any robot pose. SAR aims at changing the way we control robots. This starts by changing the way we train engineers. A textbook was published at MIT Press and completed through video lectures and extensive exercises. 